All right, so uh, uh, on the 60 series, uh, somebody was asking about levers and what they do. Uh, now, his is a 460, mine is a 560. Uh, so I was going to go around the 560 and assume that most of it's probably identical to the 460. Um, I pulled my tin off so I could do some spray painting. Uh, so it's a little disassembled right now, but all the levers are still there to my knowledge. Yeah, they are. Okay. Okay. So the first one uh, is on the right hand side. It's this, that's your PTO lever that engages your PTO. Uh, this is your hydraulic qu quadrant. Uh, this outside one is your, um, is your hitch and these are your remotes. Up here, of course, is your throttle. Uh, this is your gear shift for your different gears. And then this lever on the far side, that is your uh, TA, if you have one, uh, your torque assist. And then there is one other lever on here, and that, this is your teledepth. This is for um, if you're plowing. Uh, that connects, if you have a teledepth, not, everything, not everyone has a teledepth, but if you have one, that's what that's for. And that uh, basically is kind of like a self-leveling, uh, like if it loads down too much and pulls down, then it'll pick the hitch up a little bit so uh, it doesn't uh, bog down the tractor. You know, so that way, that's what its purpose is. Um, but uh, that's it for the levers. Uh, there really aren't that many on, on this machine. Uh, sometimes you'll have a third uh, remote uh, right here. So, uh, if you have another lever, that's just what it is. It's, it's just another remote, uh, a hydraulic remote, of course. Uh, but I can't think of any other levers, um, uh, on here. Uh, this is probably one thing you'll run into. Down here, you'll see these little knobs. And what these are, these turn your, these are for the, your remotes. Uh, this switches between single action and dual action. Uh, so a lot of older hydraulic cylinders were single action, which means uh, uh, they just have one hydraulic line going into them. So uh, uh, you know, so basically all it does is push out and then it releases back. Uh, that's how a single action works. So you can actually switch between single action and dual action. Uh, most everything these days is dual action. I'm sure there's probably single action out there for something, but most everything is dual action. So, um, yeah, I guess that's, uh, that's all I can think of. Um, yeah. Uh, if you have, my deluxe seat is off right now because I'm rebuilding it and painting it. Uh, but there's like a little lever right here that would be, you know, if you have the deluxe seat that has the wrap around, uh, um, you know, has like a wraparound side that comes around. You'll have a little lever down here to adjust your seat back and forth. Um, that's, that's pretty much it. Can't think of anything else. Uh, I guess if you have any other questions, uh, just let me know. All right. Thanks. Bye.